able to call a friend of mine. <laughs> Few and far between on that. Um, these houses are three bedroom. There's going to be 12 of them, six on each side of the road. I'm just going to scan around here. Very much in its infancy. There's another apartment block over there called Stargaze. It's selling for 400,000 US. Didn't pan out for them at all. We're very, very close to Miami Beach here. We are a small walk to Miami Beach, probably a five minute walk. Um, so that is a definite bonus, probably a 10 minute walk to Oysters. Um, the finishes here, it's, it's hard to tell. You know, yeah, it's very difficult. It's an unfinished product and we'll keep updating the videos and the and the photos. But you can tell already the finishes are going to be really very good. Um, even looking down here, it suddenly gets get bright and dark, bright and dark. Well tiled, good quality tiles as he falls up the stairs. You can see here, it's just very, it's very smart, it really is. And coming in here, I don't know if the chaps have gone out, they have here. Um, you can see some of the finishes here, the louvered windows, which a lot of people don't like louvers. I've got to say, I never did. But since living in the breezy part of the island, not far away from here, it's noticeable how great they are, because obviously you close the doors and the breeze will still pass through. And that's the whole thing about living in the Caribbean. So you can't just like when I lived in England, open one window and go, oh, right, okay, let the air in. It doesn't work that way here. It's got to be a through draft. So if it comes in the east, it's got to blow out the west and north and south. It's going to be finished very well, as I say. Just trying to... I did a video earlier on, on the development opportunity, and it's a different video to taking the video of something that's finished. You've got to show people, I'll say it again, as a chap I met the other day reminded of a wonderful old saying, warts and all. So, <coughs> nice granite tops. Good thickness as well. Got to be an inch thick. Sinks are nice. The wares, as they call them here, faucets and the such like are great. This is a little Bajanism. Uh, some people love it. I must say I've grown into it. To have a sort of laundry area where you can, you know, wash off your mops and everything else. Oh, the dreaded Chelsea bag. Oh, good for something. Good for kindling, in my opinion, as a United fan. Don't let that stop you buying from me, please. Good size fridges. Just talking about your bag, how is it good for kindling? The doors are finished very well. You can see that here. Something unique about them. And really, this is lovely. This looks very, very good. And just stepping across here, you can see this. You have a single bed in it, but again, not your usual furnished. A granite. Oh God, I don't even know what to call that. You got these lovely wooden doors that fit and finish well in a granite enclosure. I'm sure that's the wrong word. Uh, bathroom here to service again, uh, very well tiled. And, and let me just show you this before we carry on with my spiel. Uh, to service bedroom number three, if you like. Which is still a double bedroom. You see that lovely varnished wood cornicing. Bedroom number three and bedroom number two, which we just went into. And then you go through the door here. Again, finished very well. Our sweet facility, which clearly hasn't been finished yet, but that's understandable. And then a different colour, which is also very nice. Another, another enclosed... Uh, stack of drawers, but this time in a, in a black granite. Again, ceiling high cupboards. And this is a, that's a queen size, so it's a good sized room. 17 by 15, off the top of my head. Not very good with sizes. Again, I feel some rude humor coming on there, but I will not. Keep telling people I'm six foot three. Seven foot two with my afro. I am in fact white and I'm five foot nine. Some people are still laugh at that and say I'm still lying. <laughs> oh God, laughing at my own jokes, it's not good. I think 
in need of sugar. Looking up here, interesting for people who are buying, because everyone always wants to look up uh, the man. Oh, I wonder if I can get up there. This comes very good with light and dark. But, ah, yes, look at, look at that. Fantastic. So, you could, if you wanted to, with these units, you could close that up. Um, so it, it would be, uh, you know, would attach that framework. And for an extra cost, instead of having this drop ceiling, you could have a raised ceiling. I would imagine the price difference would be around 5,000 US. These units are three bedroom. I'm thinking, without looking at the paperwork, they're about 2,000 square foot. And I would say, no, a bit smaller. 1,700, 1,600 square foot. They're a good sized unit, they're very well designed. And they come, their standard fit and finish is a high one. You can make changes because you buy the land, you enter into a contract to construct, which is standard here. Um, now you start working? Really? Gosh, unbelievable. <laughs> and um, for any extras, obviously would be extra. Unless you wanted bathrooms taken out where, you know, the developer would save money. So, looking, can't quite see the sea. If you went up a second floor, you probably could. Anyway, available at www.barbados-realestate.com, which is Sandcastle Caribbean Real Estate, in or around 225 US. And that should be the exciting thing for anyone who wants to own a property near a beach, near the amenities of Oystens, and I lived around the corner, I used to love cycling into Oystens, Thursday night was like my pub night, anyway, less about me, 225 US, is the base price, they will listen to offers at the moment, um, very keen on moving this forward, and I believe one out of six has already sold, given, one out of twelve has already sold, and given that this has only started a few months in, that isn't bad at all without advertising. We'll be updating photos and video if these guys ever finish. <laughs> Careful what I say, and I'm off. Thanks very much.